everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Antoinette and I hope you all had a safe and wonderful Easter even though it was different for all of us this year but I hope you found a way to celebrate and enjoy some time with your families in this video I will be sharing with you guys some of the projects that I DIY using things from Dollar Tree or some thrift store items I hope you enjoy watching these projects and I hope you'll be inspired don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's get started starting off with this cute napkin ring it was one of my first DIYs that I made when I first started my channel which I used these napkin rings that I got from Dollar Tree in a pack of six and this rhinestone mesh that I got from Dollarama so I measured how much mesh I needed to cover all the way around the napkin ring then I cut it to the correct size then I added a dabs of hot glue on almost every piece then I wrapped it around the napkin ring and there I got myself a very cute set of napkin rings for less than two bucks that I still use on my tablescapes Next DIY was this spring floral arrangement which I used this ceramic pitcher that I thrifted long time ago. I just inserted a piece of floral foam in then I added some green pigs, some gorgeous peonies and few white hydrangeas. I play around with it until I liked it and I thought it turned out super cute and I placed it on a vignette in my guest bathroom. Next was this Easter wreath that I reused for different seasons. It's a grapevine wreath I had for a while and some floral picks that I had around the house and some Easter decorations from Dollar Tree. I just weaved everything into the wreath like this, super simple and easy and I thought it came out super pretty. Next DIY, I upcycled these recycled coffee creamer bottles that I saved to reuse for some organizing projects. I just removed the labels and washed them with warm water. Then to give them a neutral color, I decided to spray paint the tops with this Rust-Oleum white color. Once they dried, I filled the bottles with my laundry product. And then I stick these black chalk labels that I got from Dollar Tree to write the name of each product on. And on the Lazy Susan that I got from Dollarama, they go super neat, super organized. Next one is this tray that was a great find from Goodwill for only $2.50. After I cleaned it, I went ahead and removed the photo frame and the papers that were inside. Then I replaced it with this paper placemat that says Thanksgiving. And I thought it would be perfect to use for all seasons. I really love how simple yet beautiful it came out. Also, this light fixture was a great find from Goodwill for only $2. I love the shape of it and the gold metal around it, so I thought to use it as a lantern or a piece of decor around my home. So I went ahead and removed all the hardware from inside and got rid of it. Then I put the lid back and they are absolutely gorgeous. I use it as a lantern or to hold some Christmas ornaments. Next DIY was reusing this same grapevine wreath that I used all the times for different seasons and this time was for spring and summer. I mostly used things from around the house which I needed some ribbon to make a bow and some different size flowers with some greenery. So first I placed the bow on the wreath and secured it at the back. Then I weaved these peonies in the wreath close to the bow. Then I weaved the medium sized one into the wreath and then I worked my way out adding all the small flowers on the edges along with the greenery. Mm -hmm. 
and lastly i added this wooden letter k for our last name and secured it with two pieces of wires at the back then i hung it on my front door and i thought it looked really pretty next project was this gorgeous centerpiece that was really simple and super easy to make i used four of these glass containers that i got from dollar tree a long time ago i painted them with this acrylic white color from dollar tree as well and once they were dried i went and used some brown color in this paper towel and i went lightly over it to give it that aged look then i glued a piece of floral foam inside each container then i sticked some lavender stems that i had around the house into the foam i did that with all four jars then i added some twine around the neck of each jar and on this tray that i thrifted long time ago i placed them and i thought they looked really pretty Last but not least were these topiary trees that I made last year. I still have them in my living room and they are my favorite. I'm not gonna go through all the details here but I will leave the link in the description box below in case you wanna watch the full video. So I used a different size topiary balls that I thrifted some and some were from dollar store. I also needed two pots that I already had, few foam blocks from Dollar Tree and the curtain rod that i thrifted first i spray painted the pots with this rustoleum white color and once they were dry i filled them with some baby rocks to add some weight then i put some foam blocks in the middle then i inserted the curtain rod in the middle of the foam and added some spanish moss to cover the rock then i started adding the biggest topiary ball then stacked it with the medium ball size And last, I added the smallest ball. Then I added the curtain rod ends on the top. Lastly, I decided to add some twigs that I got from my backyard to give it more of that natural look. I really love how these topiary trees came out. It made me feel so proud that I was able to recreate them with so much less money than what they cost. I hope you enjoyed watching how I made these simple yet chic projects and I hope you found some inspiration here. I will leave all the links of the original videos down in the description box for you to check out. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which one was your favorite and I hope to see you soon with some new DIY ideas. Stay safe and blessed.